All right, before we start the bourbon hunt today, I think we need to get some coffee. At the world's smallest coffee shack in Rehoboth Beach. All right, went to Mudslingers, got a shot in the dark, which is like coffee with a shot of coffee and a side of coffee. No cream, no sugar, got it iced because it's hot. I'm at the beach, let's try it out. Woo! That's gonna wake us up for some bourbon hunting for sure. All right, first stop today gonna be Pacific Wine and Spirits. All right, so pretty decent selection in here at Pacific Wine and Spirits, uh, the first stop. Of course, I am in Delaware in Rehoboth Beach, so uh, no sales tax, which really makes things a little bit nice. They had a bunch of some allocated things in there. If you guys saw, it's a little bit different type video than I normally do, but they had some allocated things in there that, man, some of those were tempting. I almost went with the Woodford uh, Reserve 5, uh, what's it called? five malt stouted mash for 200. I ended up not getting that and I did pick up one bottle. They had a bunch of stag in there. They had a bunch of other things I'm sure you guys saw there in that end of the video. I almost missed that case. Didn't even see it before I walked out. But the one I decided to go with is one I've never seen near me. It's the Knob Creek 15 year and they had this for 129. So I looked online and that seemed way better than any prices I at least could find online. And since I've never seen it in person, I decided to go with the Knob Creek 15 year here from uh, Pacific Wine Spirits. We'll move on to store number two, see what else we can find. Stop number two, Atlantic Liquors. Okay, Atlantic, uh, Atlantic Liquors didn't have that big a selection of bourbon, so if you're wondering why this section was small, that's why, they didn't really have a lot of options. What you see is pretty much what they had. They had a ton of beer and wine, but otherwise not much. But I did pick up one bottle just because I've been looking to get my hands on this Green River Weeded, and it was coming in at $35 here, which is pr pretty much what I've seen it for before, but minus taxes. So I decided to pick it up here at Atlantic Liquors, the Green River Weeded, and we're gonna move on to the next place. 
All right, third stop is Outlet Liquors, which advertises itself as the third largest liquor store in the United States. Oh man, so I just spent a minute in Outlet Liquors looking through that rare uh, case that they had there. They had some Willet Purple Tops. They had a Parker's Heritage Double Barreled, which I have never seen before for $600. And man, I was I was tempted, I'll tell you. I was super tempted uh, thanks to one of my buddies, Matt. I reached out to him and he kind of talked me off of the spending too much money on that ledge. So I didn't go with that, but I did still spend a lot of money at uh, Outlet Liquors here. I went with the Old Carter American batch number 10. I actually almost passed up on this because I didn't realize, I thought it was just one of the regular batch 10s of bourbon, but this is the American. So this is one of the ones that I've never seen before. I've been looking for coming in at 131.8 proof. It cost me $350 today but no tax at least, so there's that. I guess I've now spent a lot on this bourbon trip. I might stop at one more store and uh, we'll see how that goes. So stay tuned for my bank account slowly depleting. Please next door have absolutely nothing. All right, last stop on today's hunt is Bin 66 Wine and Spirits. All right, Bin 66, not a huge selection. I almost picked up their Elijah Craig single barrel barrel pick. It was like 127 proof for $90, but man, after spending all that money on that old Carter, just decided to pass on that one, so. All right, decided to make one more stop before I roll out. This is I'm in Bethany Beach at Beach Liquors.
Okay, so it's my last day at the beach. I decided to stop by one more store, this time in Bethany Beach here, Beach Liquors, and whoo, you can see some of the selection they had. They had a bunch of the VTAC stuff in there, the George Stags, the Wellers, all that good stuff, but it was secondary, secondary prices. They even had my dream bottle, the Heaven Hills 17 year in there, but it was $1,800. So unfortunately, not leaving with that one today. I did consider a couple different bottles in there. They had the Bernheim, the Bernheim Weed, which I've never found in a store before, but it was $100, which I think is a little bit much for that. So didn't go with that one. I considered the Old Elk, uh, double wheat because I've never seen that one before either but in the end I decided to go with something that I don't really know much about and it was a store pick it's this copper and cask straight bourbon whiskey single barrel store pick it's coming in at 58.3 percent alcohol so it's even got the mash bill on there distilled in Lawrenceburg uh, it's got the bottle dates in there May 2017 is when it was put in the barrel and then bottled in May 2022. So it's five years old. It is 70% corn, 21% rye, and 9% malted barley coming in at 116 proof. So I think that's gonna officially close out the bourbon hunt here at the beach. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll be re reviewing all of these bottles on the channel here soon. So make sure you hit like and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this in the future.